today we shall discuss about soil bearing capacity at well foundation in well foundation there are some other calculations also which we call hydraulic analysis in my next lecture i i will guide you how to as how to assess and how to estimate the hyd- maximum scour depth for design of a well foundation mainly for base taxes let us assume our ground surface level is rl 98.55 and maximum scour level is 90.25 and after calculating one third of scour depth that is our foundation level well ter- that is well termination level is rl 82.5 and our depth of foundation is 7.5 meter and we are assuming the well has a diameter circular well diameter of 10 meter and for our better calculation diameter we are keeping separately as diameter and width of foundation also equal to diameter that is for just for other benefits of b by w equal to 1 and our depth of foundation is 7.5 and our depth by b is 0.78 which shall behave like a like a cello foundation as per norms of factories we are considering a cello foundation therefore our depth factor correction is coming 1.26 all these the estimation of this lbc for well foundation is covered under irs 78 and irs 6403 irs 8009 part 2 and irs 1904 now let us let us consider the basic soil parameters the compressive strength is 0 submerged in it is 1.03 ton per cubic meter weight of foundation is 10 meter depth of foundation is 7.75 meter our cohesion is 0 frictional angle is 38 and void index is 50.55 if we get void index less than 0.55 then we should consider as 0.55 only and bulk unit weight is 2.03 ton per cubic meter relative density is 85% and water table correction is 0.5 since it is below water sep factor dep factor these are all these are these are details in is 6403 only just we have to we are accommodating b by w so that we can make it one Uh, step factor is coming 1.3 dep factor is uh, step step factor 1.3 1.2 and 0.6 now dep factor is same equation as expl- required for 
shallow foundation so depth factor is coming 1.6 1.159 and 1.159. Now, efficiency factor, which is based on void index and relative density. If void index is less than 0.5, efficiency factor is 1, that is general shear failure and relative density is greater than 75, efficiency factor is 1, that is general shear failure. It is, so we are writing here, it is 2 third to 100 percent. So, we are calculating efficiency factor as 1, that means it is, it shall be a general shear failure criteria. Therefore, no modification is required. C is same and 5 is 38 degree. Now, other factors as NC, NC, NQ and N gamma. These are original Kazaki equation. This is normally available in standard textbook. These are not available in present IS code. Although earlier ASTM codes, these equations are there. Now IS code prescribes some graphical representation from 50 to 545. We can find out the NQ, NC, and N gamma. Instead of that, we are deriving it arithmetically so that we can uh, we can cannot make any unwanted errors in our computation and compilation. These are all Tarzaghi bearing capacity factor that is NC is 61.26, and NQ is 48.85, and gamma is 77.87. Now, under Rule 5.1.1 of IS 6403, which was recommended by IRC, 78 this is this equation is this c and c s c d c the i c was neglected since were all wells are vertical loaded there is no inclined load in any kind plus q n q minus one d q s q half B gamma and gamma B is which diameter of the well S gamma D gamma and water table correction factor. Uh, these are since C is zero, this cohesion component will be zero and frictional component is this much and weight component is very negligible, it is 3.53. The ultimate bearing capacity is coming this out. Now applying a safety factor 3, the late shape bearing capacity has been worked out 178.2 ton per meter square. In most cases, there are some restrictions. In most cases, there are some restrictions are in, imposed in codes. There, this shall be, uh, this uh, for stands for lock, it should be the maximum as this is, shall be around 3 MPA for sand is so much of M MPA and like that. But but 
if the formation is quite dense, very dense, where there is very little amount of settlement is expected in such cases, we can consider this calculated thing subject to next stage second. Now you see, our NBL was recorded, average NBL was recorded up to 1.5 B, that means 1.5 means 15 meter depth was NBL is this. And depth factor is 1.26. 1.256, I am saying it 1.26. And as per the present popular equation, this is equation number 3 of two, IS 291 part 1, B, appendix B, that equation is there 13 and Bf by B into 0.1 is a depth factor. So this is coming 101.21. Therefore, you see, in earlier from shear test data, we are getting 178 from NBLU data that is coming 101.2. So we, sh we shall take the lowest value. This is also same, that of cellar foundation, that of cellar foundation, there shall be some moment and there shall be some amount of those skin resistances we are neglecting, skin resistances we are neglecting for a wealth foundation, but there are some amount of skin is there for which it is very difficult, we feel very difficult to penetrate. The gravity sinking is not a simple matter nowadays. Since we require 40 meter, 45 meter depth of penetration of well. Therefore, we check the lateral loading conditions, what will be the effect. This is, I have discussed earlier also. This is coming out 108 and this is UD is coming this amount and as such our lowest earlier value is 101.2 ton per meter square which is safety factor of 1.3. Now for 80 in IS-809 part 1, there is a curve, there is a curve, curve number is figure number 19, for that, for 10 meter, 10 meter is 5 mm for 10 metric ton per unit area, ton per unit area, it is 5 mm, so therefore, the SBC for 50 mm, the settlement, we are calculating SBC is 100 ton. It is simple. Because in code there is a provision, the, the SBC may be considered as directly proportional to settlement if it is determined from n value. So it is arithmetically calculated, it is coming out 100 ton per metric square. So SS, now it is becoming 100 ton meter square. Now we have to seek, we have to seek for settlement analysis. In settlement analysis, in settlement analysis, there is a provision. In part two, it is for well foundation or pile, pile foundation. There is a provision of same procedure to adopt same procedure to analyze the to estimate the total anticipated settlement as stated in 
I S eight double zero nine part one. With a correction factor, with a correction factor in figure thirty, figure three of IS part two eight double zero nine part two, which is polar star. That means actually this is. Uh, It is required to calculate. Since there is a depth factor, we did not consider depth factor separately. Depth factor separately, we did not. But uh, since depth is a major effect, depth of fixity, depth of foundation is a major effect in long term and short term settlement. We have to correct it. As per polar star, it is coming this around. It is a simple equation. It in this, it is just it is start, starting from point five to point eight. Maximum twenty percent and minimum shall be fifty percent. And if it if if it is ground level, just at this cover level, it is eight percent, eighty percent. Or it is below some depth. Maximum reduction of settlement will be 50 percent. So considering that equation, we have calculated this rigidity factor. That is actually not rigidity factor. It is reliability factor. Using same procedure like that of shallow foundation, we have calculated our significant depth. Equal to 1.5 times B. These are all coming same. Only, only this correction factor. It is coming. It is just correction factor is depth factor divided one divided by the depth factor. It is uh, one divided by Depth factor. It is. This is coming correction factor. So ultimately, ultimately we are calculating this using IS eight double zero nine part one with a correction factor of part. Two. After detail, considering everything and equation as per equation C, this is we have calculated the total settlement is coming twenty point eight five millimeter, which is much less than. Permissible limit of 50 mm. Now, depth. We have we have to check the depth of foundation whether it is there are chances of failure or not. Using this equation, this equation is recommended by Bolz, Scott, Leonard, Leonard. Using the angle of repose, angle of repose for sandy soil, it is considered equivalent to equivalent to internal angle of internal friction. So, on calculation, assuming this bearing pressure, calculation, this is the pressure intensity, we getting the minimum foundation depth required as. 7.23 meter below the cover level, and we are providing we have provided the foundation depth of 7.5 meter, which is greater than this, so it is safe. This is net liable, gross liable. Net liable means this much, and gross liable include uh, net liable plus 
शाल शाल दिस ग्लॉस अलायबल नेट अलायबल बेरिंग के पास होते इस ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एडिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा इट इस ग्लॉस एंड एंड दिस इस इंक्लूडिंग शाल शाल एंड anticipated settlement remain constant for seismic and non seismic condition there is a reason why we are not calculating the seismic loading condition because seismic loading condition it is is the fraction of a second the vibration is uh, vibration is continued for a fraction of a second where the load cannot be transmitted to below so during seismic load the settlement is very much negligible so now another important fact criteria is how to estimate the soil parameters from we are having more log profiles Laboratory test results, laboratory test results, bowl of profiles, other parameters. Because we are having all this. Now we have to consider this is our log profile. Our ground level is that is LBL is ninety eight, and scour level is ninety, and eight to two is. Foundation depth, and here is another layer is coming at R L seventy, and it is sixty seven. You uh, see, here we are putting the foundation, and we require soil parameters up to one point five B, up to sixty seven. It is fifteen meter extra, and this soil parameters of this. June A, June A from LBL to 90, RL 90, the scour zone. That is, these soil parameters has no importance since there will be no soil during scour condition. And some textbook suggests that we can consider the surcharge in settlement analysis from bed level. to below but in my own experience in some cases some river what i particularly noticed once it is covered and that is that may be remaining a deep channel and on the other side some sandbar has been formed so in such cases there is no chances of the non specific condition you know or other condition that there shall be soil up to the bed level so we should ignore up to maximum scour level and these soil parameters these soil parameters are used for estimate this net overburden pressure from this maximum is cover level to bottom of the well level this is maximum is cover level and this this stratum c and d it is stratum c and d it is 15 meter it is significant depth of foundation so b from stratum b We require only this submerged in its weight, and nothing short of other parameters we required. And stratum C, we required. This is hard index, submerged unit density, and undrained compressive strength, undrained frictional angle. And compression index and volume compressibility, and this layer also 
accordingly this is chabbas tini kweet bhajin dax frictional angle compression in dax and volume compression now you say here is another another this thickness of this stratum is d is 3 meter and it is 12 meter and we have to take a barrage of this uh, total layer this 12 meter and 3 meter we have to take total a barrage of this layer so what we require to do say gamma gamma b this is sub gamma sub bar density for b stratum b this is coming in man so our net our burden pressure is this and you see c cohesion we do not have so it is coming zero and frictional angle frictional angle c frictional angle c means of b stratum b stratum frictional angle and the stratum thickness stratum thickness plus frictional angle of d multiplied by the stratum thickness divided by total thickness that is frictional angle d stratum multiplied by the this section this stratum thickness plus frictional angle of this stratum multiplied by the thickness of the this stratum divided by total thickness so it is coming this 36.8 whereas it is it is 36.5 it is 38 it is 36.5 it is 38 but our value is 36.8 you can say it is 37 or you can say 36 whatever it may be and you see void index void index ultimately there was there are our void index is 0.543 and 0.528 so as per our normal average what will be there it is it is 5 it is 2 that means it is 5.3 something it will be the 5.3 something for 0.53 something but i am mistaking it is 0.543 and 0.2 0.528 if we take that a barrage of two values it will be coming how much it is 0.53 something so it is stayed up that if we are taking for 12 meter as point point 543 and 3 meter as point 528 what will be the our average weight the barrage will be 0.54 But there is a condition. If point five, if point five four we accept, it will give you uh, more than general shear failure. So we must have to restrict it point five five. On the other hand, in case of very weak soil, if it is uh, say relative density, say relative density is point less than point two five. Then we have to consider as 0.25, and void is say more more than 0.75. That is 70 parts more than 75 percent void. Then we have to consider as 75 percent only. Otherwise, it will give some some abrupt results in in state of local shear. It shall be the it shall be. More less than the local shear failure density. So accordingly, this also it is coming, it is coming 0.078 compression index is 0.078 for 12 meter, and and it is 
0.073 for 3 meter. So on this average calculation it is coming 0 0.077. So we should add up 0 0.077 only. Not not more than that, not less than that. If we take just arithmetic average of 2, it will be coming, what is 0 0.8, 0 0.3, it will be, it will be the 0 0.5. It will be 0 0.5, whereas we are getting 0 0.55, 0 0.055, uh, 0 0.075, and here we are getting 0 0.077. So, this these are the simple process I have explained so that no one should be in tough situation to calculate maximum time and to avoid any unpleasant situation. Less time is, it will be simple procedure to estimate the basic parameters and as we see of well foundation. In, in most of the textbook, I see the most of the textbook they have some definite or some some uh, codal provisions and some uh, earlier books. But in my opinion, the simplest method should be adopted in estimation of SBC for well foundation. IRC 78 and many other courts, they have suggested and they have recommended you adoption of a safety factor of 3. But we should not, because there is no such simple method to conduct a big load test of 10 meter dia well for physical verification of our estimates. And in case of we are trying to, there will be, it will be very less time loading, very negligible time loading, it shall be around 24 hours or, or we can go for 48 hours, but, but our breeze or any structure will be minimum 100 years life. So, we cannot predict on the basis of load test data. And other thing, other thing, most of the test results are, are based on control conditions. We are doing trichel test, density test, all other betting consolidations and there is some certain control condition. In actual field, these are not behave according to our own will. So we should, rather it is better to take 3 as a safety factor instead of 2.5. I hope it will help you if you need any further information, please feel free to post me at your disposal. My contact ID is jcgogoi at gmail.com. Wish you all the best. Have a nice day, please.